Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are um, doing another abandoned exploration video today. So I'm not going to say what it is yet because I don't know if this is the right place we're going to go. Hopefully I'm in the right place. But yeah, you might have already read it in the title what it is. But yeah, so I did organise to come down here with some friends but obviously no one knows when they're actually free and most of my friends that i've got don't even like contact me when they're going to actually go to these certain places so i thought why not so hopefully we can go to the right place hopefully this is the right place right you guys if you guys have, have ever been to this location that might give it away what we are looking at today but yeah, we've got to go right up to the top of there to try and find this place. If this is the right place that I am thinking of, I am so excited, I am really. I'm trying to contain my excitement so I don't want to like, like, like get my hopes up and it not be the right thing I'm looking for. But I've heard that it is close to my house. So I thought, why not take a nice walk down? It's a nice day. And yeah, I thought it's supposed to be raining sometime this week. And as soon as I got up this morning and saw the sun out, I was like, right, today's the day. So I've got money on me so I can get, you know, home. Like I need, if I can't be bothered to walk the rest of the way home after I've done. But yeah, so lovely, lovely scenery, lovely. You know, that's what, that's what life's all about, getting out, enjoying the nature. And yeah. Hopefully this is the right place that we are going to because I don't want to literally record and not upload it because it'll just be a waste of filming, waste of your guys' time watching if we don't really find anything, you know, that the video has promised. Well, we appear to have found a gate here, guys, at the end of the track where I was walking and I'm hoping this is the right place. I mean, this isn't the way to it, I don't think. But let's see if you can see the view. let's see what view we get from this from this bit here. Holy shit. What the fuck are they? Right, you guys might know what this is. Just by looking at the hill, you might know what this is. Um so if you do, leave it in the chat because I'm gonna leave a chat down below so you guys can probably see. But I don't know if this is the right entrance to it. I don't want to like go hurting myself, but yeah you guys might know what it is right guys i haven't found the entrance but we have come across um one of the entrances where fences have collapsed now if you guys can see this right behind me i'm going to show you you guys might know what this place is if you haven't guessed it already so we've got like a big massive ramp here zoom out if you guys don't know what this is don't worry you will know what it is eventually if you guys don't know what it is at the minute but just take a look at that amazing view i'm going to zoom in as much as i can that is an amazing view a lot of people actually come down here as well a lot of people have actually been seen i've actually seen loads of people walking around i've seen people walking around here on bikes uh you know people with hitchhiking equipment I'm walking along this like kind of carpet thing. It doesn't actually feel steady on my feet, so I'm trying to jump off this as quick as I can. Ooh. But yeah, there was a guy walking up here with the hitchhiking equipment. I'd run the jacket because I didn't think it was going to be this warm out. But yes, yeah, so we are at. I, will I might as well tell you guys because I don't know where the entrance is. Oh shit, to this place. We were actually we actually are at Sheffield Ski Village. Um, because I, I did plan on coming down here with friends, but we just can't decide when we're going to come down. And none of my friends are very communicating with me at the much. Um, so yeah, we don't even, I don't even know where this place actually starts. I know there's supposed to be a gate here that says, um, like, you know, the entrance to it, but I just don't know. So we have got to walk down that. <laughs> and I am not recording when I'm walking down this, because if I slip, I need both hands to try and stop me from hurting myself, because there is debris here but imagine this the atmosphere though of people coming down here skiing got the lights there to keep the track lit at night it's amazing guys literally exploring 
places like this that is just frozen in time and yeah it got burnt down uh i think it was like a few years ago maybe even more but yeah i'm trying to walk down uh, very carefully i haven't got no like hitchhiking things with me like you know something from going but yeah um yeah this ski village did get burned down uh, multiple times if anyone's watching this who lives in sheffield you guys will know um that this place did get burned down as you can tell there's i don't know if you guys can see it properly but there's like wood over there that's got like fire on it like burnt scorch marks you know it's actually quite, I'm, i want to actually try and get all footage of all different tracks that people used to use but I could not ski for my life. So I never came here when it was actually operational. But now all the uh, ice is gone and everything's good. It is amazing. I mean, there's a, track, there's a bit of a track over there that's probably been covered up with, you know, trees and stuff. You could probably see it over there somewhere. But yeah, I mean, look at this, guys. Look at that. Imagine coming down here back when it was all ice. It's amazing guys look at this look at that is amazing right guys we have just got to the to the bottom of this long big ass hill but look at that i mean it is obviously abandoned i know but these things are just i am amazed with how much stuff there is that have just been dumped and probably left here over time I know most of you guys are probably watching this and you're like, why are you going to abandoned buildings, like abandoned places for? Why don't you just like go to places where people are? Because there could be anyone hanging around here, gangs, you know, you know, people on drugs. And that's just a risk you have to take, I'm afraid. You know, it's a risk you have to take. I mean, I was all the way up there and I saw this place from here and I was like, this must be Sheffield Ski Village, it's got to be. Because it's the only ski resort that I know of in Sheffield and it is actually near my house and I've always wanted to come down here and now I, I mean there's not I'm not on, I'm not on my own there is people um that are exploring this place themselves there was a guy on a bike and I saw there was two people stood up there luckily I didn't get them on camera but I did actually say to them is this um is there any ex any like place where you can actually get into the ski village they said that's the only way um on foot the other because they have literally just found this place today but come on guys look at the just look at this view just look at that all the way up there is where people there's been i think there's people up there now actually there's people up there right now i don't know if you guys can see that i mean just my mind that, that's probably just my imagination but it looks like people's up there but yeah they would come down there and just literally ski down here and and just have a good time. And I'm going to go down and see what other things they have down here. I mean, I might not discover this place all in one video. Because um, I've never been here. So I've heard about it. And I've heard that it was a big, 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 big place. But I do not know how much I'm going to cover in one video. So I'm trying to zoom out as much as I can try not to trip over things so yeah this must be the tur the the material that the ice was on i'm guessing obviously you know because ice would obviously melt eventually and then they just obviously ripped up the track and yeah I'm, I'm not i'm not gonna walk up there guys i don't care what anyone says i am not walking from the bottom up there if i had some good if i had some good um hitchhiking mountain climbing things i probably would I mean, there's a path there, which I'm guessing people can walk on. I'm just zooming a bit, right there. So if you're lucky, I might walk up there. Um, but we're gonna try and explore this place as much as we can. And yeah, hopefully there is some fellow, you know, hitchhikers or documenting people out here right now who can actually, you know, meet because other YouTubers do it and they meet people. Uh, not always dangerous people, but yeah, they meet people. So if that's people up there, then might, they might be doing the same as me. Because this is a very big, popular tourist attraction. It's amazing how you can literally just say a certain place where people used to go burn down and people will flock to it. 
like you know like it's you know, something amazing i mean i wanted to come down here when it was actually in business when when all of this was actually you know you know when it was actually in business before it got burnt down but i could not ski and i'm no good on the ice as it is anyway but i had a lot of friends that wanted to come down here so it'd be nice if we could find the entrance to this place because we're now in some kind of car park area i don't know if you guys can see that much yeah but we're actually in the car park area so hopefully we can find a way out which is the normal way out <laughs> and the normal way in because i am not climbing up those up there again to get out no chance They like voice like you know people behind me i think it's just people other people I mean, a lot of people have come down here today i don't know why but I, like i said i've seen an old man already coming up here i've seen a guy on a bike i saw two people sat there um just um on a bench just from where the thing was I mean, there's a wall over there so i might go and check that out see what other places are around here now, I was going to come down a lot earlier, but obviously I have stuff, I have other stuff to do out of, you know, just do, I don't, I don't just do this YouTube, I do other stuff. So this, this might be the entrance, guys. We might have found the entrance. So hopefully we can actually find, this is the entrance. Yeah, it is the entrance. Right, so we found the entrance. We're not going to go yet, but we are going to, I'm going to show you guys what the entrance look like, looks like from if you was coming up to drive into this place so that's the long road we have to walk down i'll probably have to walk that way to get back and there was a gate here that actually had the name of the building or the park there but yeah unfortunately it's not there anymore uh these are just boulders i don't know what the boulders are here for some of the fence been knocked down with it i don't know i don't even know how big this place is i'm just like i'm just exploring everything i will come back to these places if i don't explore it all in one day or if i think i haven't explored it oh shit i can hear voices guys i don't know if you guys can hear them but i just heard someone go oi as on the other clip i just did I mean, security shouldn't be patrolling this area anyway because what damage can you do here, really? I mean, I know it's probably dangerous, but hopefully it's not security. Hopefully it's someone just, you know, exploring like I am. But if it is, we might have to flee and come back next time. But yeah, so I am going to explore this place still and if i do get you know told to leave i will literally have to leave i think i can see someone down there i don't know where it is though i don't know if it's like a person but yeah i found a fence <laughs> a gate so hopefully if it is someone you know looking i mean i don't know i don't know why security would even bother keeping this place occupied really because it's abandoned. No one's going to use it. And what can you do? What, 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 what can you... You know, how can you hurt yourself on a ski resort when there is no ice? The entrance is just down there. I mean, I might, I might, I might be paranoid. I might just be like, you know, thinking that... You know, because there is buildings out here and places that they never use. Or they don't use anymore. But security do keep an eye on it. Like they sometimes do keep a track of it just to make sure that people are not you know like dealing like dealing illegal highs or anything like that i don't even know how i mean i don't know if that's part of uh, ski village as well i don't even know because i haven't been to this place before i can hear like i can hear voices like shouting but you guys might not be able to hear it because it's really like faint it's like hey hey you know, it's like that I don't know if you guys will pick that up. But yeah, if you guys have been to this place before, let me know. 
if you've been here recently or if you've been here when it was actually in business because this place I know you guys probably haven't seen what I can see at the minute but I'm just walking through trees like you know forest plant life I think it might just be other people because if I if I got paid to do a security job just to keep my this place just to see just to keep an eye on this place I wouldn't even bother wasting my time I mean there is a big this is this is a big path and I'm probably not even exploring ski village at this minute but but yeah it is uh along I think it takes up to the cliffs I'm not I'm not gonna walk up all up to the cliffs yeah I'm not doing that today maybe another day or another if there's something up there that you if there's something up there then I will go up there Right guys, I have just found this little campfire here. Um, someone of us had a fire here and it smells really fresh. Like you can't see no smoke, you might be able to see much smoke, but it smells really fresh. Like someone has just literally, you know like, you know like when you have a fire and you can literally, you know, the place, like there's no smoke, but it smells like recently, like a fire's been there. That's what it basically smells like, so. We're still in Ski Village, as you can tell. We're still in parts of it. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know where that person was who was shouting. I did hear someone shout, Oi. Um, I can hear voices like, oh, coming from over there, like behind the camera where I am. So I don't want to get in trouble for being on here. But there is other people on here. So it might be them talking. But yeah, hopefully we don't encounter anyone harmful or deadly because these places do harbour some of those people so uh yeah well obviously there's a big massive fire uh ground here i mean i've just been looking around at it seeing what i can like seeing what there is there's obviously clothes uh boots someone's glasses uh whatever that is tins probably just chairs other household appliances people have just bung stuff here and just set fire to it i mean this is probably what caused the damage for all of that because looking at that you wouldn't think that's a ski place but now you know it's a ski place it is there is a, there is a, there is a lot more of it that way I'm just zoom out a bit my hand's really big that way go down this path but the path does not exist anymore and it is very dead to walk down if there's a way a safe way of getting down there i would but um yeah i'll show you how deep it i'll show you how um how um what do you call it how deep it is if i had like some kind of grapple thing and a rope to go down i would but i am not walking down that it may not look steep for you guys but that is steep from where i am you know i am not walking down that you know there is like trees and forestation going that way but i'm trying to find out where the voices are coming from I heard voices like people going, oi, oi. So unless it was just people trying to scare me, thinking that I was a gang or something, or just a homeless man or something, or a squatter. Because there is a lot of people that will squat in these locations. There's one over there as well, like a, a skiing thing over there. But we can't really get to it at the minute because I haven't been in this place before. So there might be, mo there might be multiple entrances or exits but i mean i'm on my own like guys literally i'm on my own i know you might think oh this is not deadly but being on your own in a, in, a, in a new place you don't know what's happening i mean there was this one youtuber that i did actually watch and he acts and he was he was um it's been a while since i watched since i saw his video now but he actually was walking and checking out this haunted abandoned um forest and it said that a lot of people was murdered in it. And, you know, he spent a lot of money to try and get there. And he and he nearly accidentally walked into a bear trap. And if you guys know what a bear trap is, then you'll know that is what I don't want to happen. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to walk or anything, fall into a pit where I can't get out because literally I'm on my own. And, wow, I've just found a discoverer, <laughs> which is the bottom of this thing. So, yeah, we're going to go down here, check it out. Uh, just try and move these twigs out the way, knock the spiders out the way. 
So yeah, fuck, you know, this is massive, this. So yeah, so we're not gonna go up it, but we're gonna show you guys what's at the bottom of it because it has collapsed. Right guys, this is the bottom, uh, this was part of the ski track. Anyone comes down here that have probably, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I don't think it should be, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, a lot of people have come down here, graffitied the name, you know, big up to any of the artists. If you know any of these guys who've done this, big up to them, you know, they've got some good artistic talent in there, I will admit. But yeah, literally, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to jump down there because there is, uh, could be anything down there, nettles, probably some needles. There could be anything down there. I mean, I don't think, I think this is supposed to connect to it unless it's one of those ones that you jump from. But it looks like it's just collapsed over time and, well, I can't see no proof that it has collapsed, but like down on the floor, a bit down here, but the way it's broke off, I'm guessing it looks like it has snapped off over time. And, uh, yeah. Right, guys, I can see a well. Like, I've just discovered a well. I've just been walking around here. I've just discovered this well. So I'm going to try and... So like I'm saying, guys... Oh, I've stabbed in the head with something. So like I said, you know, it is very exciting looking at these places. You know, finding these places out. You know, if I came down here maybe 10, you know, like five, 10 years ago, I probably would have explored more of it. But it's like, obviously over time, things decay and they break down. Eventually this won't even be a ski village, like a, a burial of a ski village. That'll just probably just be hills eventually, you know, everything will just decay eventually. And eventually things that'll, that won't even resemble, this won't resemble anything. This will just probably be a bit of wasteland. You know, because what goes up must come down. That's how it works. So, yeah, so that's the hill that I walked up. That's the hill that I walked up. Or should I say came down, should I say? I saw a man going up it, but I haven't got the right equipment to go up there. There is some more stuff. I don't know if that's the top of it or if that's something or if that's just a bit, or if that's just one end of it. But... I will probably try and explore more of this because it hasn't really, it hasn't really, um, it's a lot, it's, it is a lot bigger. There is some stuff I haven't explored yet and I'm going to try and explore the, these things. But when you're hearing voices and you're trying to figure out where it's coming from, if they are friendly or not, you know, I might try and go to the top of one of them, like, you know, take the safe route because there is some stairs that, do, that does go up there to one of them. So hopefully we can go there. So there's some there's some people up there, guys. But I'm not gonna get them on camera. But there's some people up there. Scaving. I don't know if they're like, you know, thinking this place. You know, like exploring this place as me, like same as me. But I've just seen two people walking down. And they didn't look like I don't know if they were I don't I don't know if they were just like normal people or if they actually were people like who's allowed not to you know we're trying to hide from and see if they are actually normal people or not because it is if it is uh, security or other type of enforcement like you know security type people we might not be we might not be allowed here but I don't see no reason why we can't be here I'm not causing no trouble. I am just looking and documenting things, I'm trying to fall on my ass at the same time. Right, guys, as I wasn't recording, I did bump into two of those, you know, the strangers. Do we? Can you have, like, bees around me? Jesus. Yeah, as I wasn't recording, I bumped into two of those strangers' voices who I did actually hear. Um, they actually said they were just, like, walking around. Um, so I was actually glad that I didn't actually run into any danger. So, unfortunately, this is the end of the video right now. So thank you for everyone who's watching. I know you guys in the chat are literally probably loving this. But, 
yeah um i haven't got much memory left on my camera um so i'm going to need to try and sort my memory out and delete video clips that i've got on that i don't even really need or have to have on but um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i am walking down this big long road right now as it pardon me as you can see um if there is any more places in ski village that i haven't explored due to me not getting down there or trying to get down into certain places i will probably come back with friends um or I'll probably just come back with on my own um but i will probably come back up here if there is something going off up here there is i did i did say i probably would go to the top of one of them but i just couldn't find the stairs you know and the stairs i found the stairs on, on one of them and i could not find the stairs where they were plus i kept hearing voices so i didn't really have much time to try and find one i probably actually will go back up and try and get one good like one good uh, one good um one last clip but yeah you guys are going to be in for a real treat because this is going to be a long video if my if my phone data or camera storage gets full that's when i know i have got a lot of footage so you, this might be an hour for all you know you know but that's why i'm making it so you guys can talk down below the longer the video is the more of you guys can probably interact so yeah i just want to say thank you guys for the support so far it is really good and I am loving every bit of support that you guys are giving me. So yeah, I'll probably, give, I'll probably do one more clip, try and climb up to the stairs, and then get one last view of all of it, if it's a good view. And yeah. Right guys, as I was record, um, wasn't recording, um, I actually just found this like bobsled track thing. So this must be like the bobsled. I can't even go up the stairs much, but I'm gonna try my best. Right guys, that is the end of today's video. So if you did like it, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys for the support. I am working on other projects at the same time as doing this one. So hopefully this will keep me entertained for a bit longer while I'm getting these projects finished. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please smash the like button if you did like it. Whatever video I'm doing next, you guys will see me there, obviously. But, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe and show this video to anyone who likes watching people explore abandoned uh, stuff like this or any other videos like that. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, and hope you guys have, a, have the rest of the day. It's amazing for you. Hope you have a good day. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace.